Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hmm? So... Got it. <clears throat> Excuse me. My name is Kasuga. I know. You're the director's favorite formerly homeless go getter, aren't you? Am I right in assuming that you're here to find work again now that Otohime Land is shut down? Y yeah, uh, so what should we do now? Since this is the first time you'll be using our services without going through the director, let me explain. Yeah, and thanks a bunch. Okay, take a look then. about covers it. I'll be able to place you in more jobs once everyone starts gaining experience. Your options are a bit limited right now, but you'll find many more jobs are available once you've made some progress. I gotcha. Anyway, here's what I have at the moment. Of course, you're responsible for any adjustments you must make when you change jobs.
Roger that. So this is how we change jobs. Yes, just talk to me when you want to try out something new. There's no limit to the number of times you can switch, and you can always resume your previous job too. You may even want to try a bunch out to see which one feels right for you. Nice. I definitely didn't think it'd be this easy to switch jobs. Well, that's in part due to how I'm only able to offer you easy jobs right now. And because I'm the one handling all the paperwork. Just keep that in mind. Yeah, uh, sure. I'll remember that. And that'll do it, I think. Now, as for that part-time job at the Yokohama Trading Company, which you and the director spoke about, they called us to say you're hired. No, really? Yes. They'd like to start you straight away. But right now, even. The warehouse you'll be working in is north of Hamakita Park. It's not exactly walkable, so I'd recommend taking the train. Got it. Thanks, Ririka-chan. We'll be back when we need to change jobs. Looking forward to it. Ririka-chan? I'm glad you're so excited. Please come by any time. <laughs> no.
No. Yeah. クリスマスに社員旅行で温泉なのに僕だけノルマ満たつだから仕事だなんてんなんだこの音こんな時間に会社に人なんてまさか産業スパイFall asleep for once. Kure, lan cable trap. De, ah, yoked it. Ja, next is this. Cutie net attack. I'm sleepy all of a sudden. That was awesome! Oh, it's just getting good! Yeah, 
か産業スパイを捕まえたぞ僕だってやればできるんだ早くこの話をみんなにしてやりたいなあ社長僕やりましたよ産業スパイから会社をえ備品壊したから減給そそんなあ That was awesome! That was pretty good. Totally. Thanks for taking me. One job and one job only. The freight comes in, you unload it and sort by destination. If you're slow, slacking, or sucking, you get a visit from me. You, lady. Uh, yes? Can you read and write? I can. Add and subtract? Yes, sir. Good. You're on office duty. Thank you, sir. She saw <clears throat> this is nothing. Well, don't go so hard you run out of gas like Namba did. <sighs> He's just being a wimp. Oh man. Why does Psycho get the desk job? I can do math, too. Hey, why don't we see what's inside these boxes? What the hell? They're shark fins. The expensive kind? Or the crappy ones? How would I know? This is dried abalone. That's expensive. Never had it myself. What the heck? This is just paper. Do they use paper in Chinese food? In the food? That'd be weird. Well, Japanese cooking uses washi paper to steam things, so... Maybe China has something similar. Hey! What are you doing over there? Sorry. We'll get back to work. So listen. After the freight's unloaded, a sales rep from the tanker will bring the invoice. A sales rep? From the company that sold us the product. It'll be your job to process the invoice and get them paid. 
很高兴这次的合作十分顺利。Here we are. This is the invoice. Uh, hold on. I never said I could read Chinese. It doesn't matter. You can read the total, can't you? The money's in the safe. It's self-explanatory. Thank you. I'll be back next week. I'll bring some good stuff back. That was... How much was that in yen? About eight million. You paid eight million in cash? That's how we get such good deals on products. We pay in a single lump sum, cash, in yuan. The seller gets all their money right away and avoids paperwork. That's why these mainlanders are willing to sell to us at a much lower price than usual. <sighs> cash is king. And just in case it crossed your mind, don't even think of skimming any cash. We keep our eyes open in this warehouse. You pull anything funny, you'll be sorry you ever set foot here. Sir, I wouldn't dream of stealing. Seriously? Yo.
られると思うなよ OK Have fun with this You wanna watch this Going up, <laughs> living up in the world. <sighs> you okay, Kuroi? Kuroi san, are you hurt? I'm so sorry. My actions put everyone in danger. I had no love for him anymore, but I kept lying to myself because. I was scared of being hit again. But when I saw Kuroi-san working so hard to change his life around, I knew I had to make a change too. In the end, I'm the one who caused all this trouble. It's not your fault, Shurikawa-san. Anyway, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. This is nothing new. Forgive me, I should have noticed sooner. Honestly, this whole experience has been rather eye-opening. I've realized I still can't do anything by myself. There's something I have to tell you, Shirakawa-san. About what? I've still got a lot to learn. And I'm not exactly strong enough to protect you just yet. But I'll change. My entire life I've always given up whenever things get tough. I was so afraid of failure. But I'm not gonna give up on myself anymore. I'm gonna change. I'm going to get a proper job and become a proper man. I'll become a man worthy of you and do everything I can to make you happy. So, uh, do you, do you think you could wait for me until then? I, uh, sorry, I know it sounds like a lot. Unlike me, you've actually got a future ahead of you. Yes, well, in that future, I see myself with you, Kuroi-san. In fact, I'm almost certain about it. Huh? I'll wait for you. So, when that time comes, you think maybe we can catch a movie? Oh, of course! I, I'd love to take you to the movies! Looks like those two may just work out after all. Good luck, Kuroi. Shit! I thought this fucking lube was shampoo. Yeah, refreshing. Crap, you, you're already out of the bath? Sorry. Kasuga, relax. I know what a naked man looks like. Uh, cool, then. Uh, uh where's Adachi-san and Namba? I'm probably still washing up. Anyway, I was looking into today's price list. Those ingredients that came in were purchased at some pretty hefty prices. Like, what you'd expect for high-class stuff. Must be primo, then. As they aren't lying to the restaurants about the quality. Nope. I mean, I'm sure they get a small discount for paying in cash, but... They're doing everything above board, far as I can tell. Damn. The only weird thing is how much they're reselling the ingredients for. What's weird? Like, take the shark fins. They buy 100 grams for 10,000 yen. How much would you sell them to a restaurant for? Uh, to make a decent profit on them... 20,000? Well, the Yokohama Trading Company sells them for just 10,000. What? Wait, wait, they buy it for 10,000 yen, then sell it for 10,000 yen? That doesn't make any sense. How are they turning a profit? Right? Unless it's volunteer work or something, I don't get it. How are they even staying open? Don't they at least need to cover their overhead? 
Not only have they stayed open, their profits have gone up over the years. For the life of me, I can't figure out how. Oh, I wish I could look at their ledger and not just their invoices. What would that tell you? I don't know, but I think I'd find signs of tax evasion. Don't do anything that would give yourself away. This is the Yokohama Liumon, remember? <laughs> I'll be fine. But you're really that worried about me? Of course I'm worried. Why? Because we're buddies. Because we're buddies. Huh. What? It's a good thing, ain't it? I just... <sighs> I've never really had someone that I could call a buddy. I always just kind of thought movies and manga made that stuff up. Or at the very least, it was something I'd never have. Well, you were wrong, because now you've got us on your side. Awesome. Remember, you need good party members to beat Dragon Quest. Uh, isn't that a video game? Well, yeah, but... You know what I mean. <laughs> You're a weird one. I can live with weird. It's true, anyway. Well, thank you, Kasuga, for making me one of your buddies. <laughs> What's up? Someone dying here? Huh? Oh, we were just... Hey, seeing as we've got a long, hard road ahead of us, let's knock back some drinks. Sure, on whose tab? Well, there's the pay bonuses the boss left us. Come on, man, we gotta save those for a rainy day. Oh, I'd be so cheap. The boss is in the afterlife right now, yelling at us to live while we can. You're full of shit. I say we don't do it. Madachi san turns a bit feral when it comes to alcohol. It's Bleach Japan. What the hell? The place is already shut down. What do they want now? My friends, look at this filthy evil den of iniquity. Yes, it's an ugly little soap land. Just the other day, our tireless efforts led to the shuttering of this foul place. Yeah! 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 This is our victory! The first bricks of the Grey Zone suffocating this city have cracked and fallen away! But we must not be complacent! We must press on until all the Grey Zones have been purified! Yeah! Hey, we're in mourning right now. It's really not a good time. I'm sorry. I didn't realize there was still vermin lurking around here. Don't you have any respect for people in grief? Don't you have any respect for the law? The shop is closed! This building should be vacant! That's yeah! right! You heard him. Get out of town, you riffraff! Keep your protests to shouting. You lay hands on us, there'll be hell to pay. <clears throat> Hey, did you all see that? This thug's showing us his true colors! He thinks he can use violence to crush the voices of the people! He's obviously living in the past! Hurry! Let's close up before they start in on us, too! Where's the Seriu clan when you need them? What are we paying them protection money for? Get the friggin' heck out of here! People like you are ruining society! You're all criminals! You're enemies of good people! <sighs> now, get out of our town and don't ever come back! I'm just grateful the owner of this shop finally realized what he truly was. A filth-spreading vector of disease. He did the noble thing by taking his own life. What did you just say? What was his name? No, no, Mia. Just looking at him made me want to vomit. 
I really can't bring myself to be sorry that he's gone. When I think about that man dangling at the end of a rope. <sighs> I feel the same way I do when I finish my spring cleaning. <clears throat> Who do you think you are? Get the fuck out of here! Don't. That won't work, Sachan. Why not? Too late now, you little tart! You assaulted me! You all saw it! Someone call the police! Slapping a guy like him never does much. What? This kind of fucker. You gotta hit him like this! <laughs> a leader's down! Let's get in there! Seriously? You brought bats? What, were you hoping for a quick ball game during the protest? They were ready to incite violence all along. We're good to go, right boss? Of course. You saw it! They attacked us first! Come on, everyone! This is our moment! Bleach the Grey! You get out of the now. Not a loser! Here we go. I'm in the Okay. You got it. What's You're this? gonna be in a world of hurt. I'm I'm cool. Come on, now. Hey. 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 Let's go. Hey. Let's go.
Someone call the police! Tell them we're being attacked by thugs! Go away! 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 This isn't over! Go away! The memory of today will only strengthen our resolve! Go away! We're done playing around! Serves you right! Don't come back! This is our town! Good job, everyone! So inspiring to see you fight evil! Yeah! Remember this day with pride! <laughs> they got what was coming to them. I couldn't let him talk shit about the recently departed like that. But I'm the one who got us into a scuffle. Ugh, sorry, I should have stayed calm. Nah, don't worry about it. Now we know what they're really about. Besides... What? If somebody messes with one of us, they mess with all of us. Man, that felt good! After all this time, we got to actually do something! Yeah! I wish those useless bums in the Seryu clan could have seen that! Oh, come on, they ain't that bad. Yes, they are. We can't rely on them. I've realized something. No one's gonna protect us but us. The Yakuza aren't gonna help. I agree! These dudes are way more reliable than that dumb Seiryu clan! Yeah! Remember this day with you guys! With you. You. Not them. you should teach I them another lesson! I feel way safer with you around! <laughs> hmm? Is it closed today? No, no, Mia san, it's me, Erika Mataki. Uh, can I help you? Are you here for an interview or something? What? Oh, no. I'm not here for an interview. And you are? Oh, I'm Kasuga. I guess you could say I used to work here. Really? You worked here? Oh, well, anyway. Is Nonomiya-san in right now? I'm supposed to meet with him today. Uh, you see, well, that's a little complicated. You know... No, what? Well, Nonomiya-san, he... He died. What? Uh... He's... I don't... He can't be... Uh, that's not... Uh... Hey, hey! Oh shit! I think we're losing her! Hey! You alright? <sighs> Are you feeling better? I'm so sorry. That was so embarrassing. I've been trying to get a hold of Nonomiya-san by phone for the longest time, but... I never would have guessed he'd passed away. Yeah, sorry to have freaked you out. By the way, what's your name? I'm Eri. I'm president of Ichiban Confections. Well, damn, Eri-chan. You're a president at your age? It's incredible. Ichiban Confections? Nice! My name's Ichiban too, actually. Ichiban Kasuga. Great minds think alike. <laughs> what a coincidence. I'm sure I don't need to tell you this, but it also means the best, which is why my grandfather chose it. He wanted his senbei to be the best in Yokohama. Ah, senbei. Man, I love a good rice cracker. Anyway, how do you know Nonomiya-san? Well... Nonomiya-san was supposed to step in and take over the company. I came by today to discuss things with him. What? Nonomiya-san? President of a legitimate business? 
I mean, he was a savvy businessman, regardless of what he was selling. Oh, right. So, Ichiban Confections only sell snacks, right? Nothing, uh, else? Correct. My grandfather started it back in the day, selling his prized senbei. But after he passed away, my father took over and expanded the business to other confectionaries and restaurants. We actually got to be kind of big, and we even gained a bit of a reputation in Ijincho. Until... Until? Until three years ago, when my father succumbed to an illness. My mother passed away when I was a little girl, so we didn't really have anyone we could turn to to keep the business afloat. I was still a student back then, but I quit school to come back home. I wasn't about to let the dream my father and grandfather worked so hard to make a reality go to waste. I worked day in, day out to learn the business, but I guess it still wasn't enough. I'm a complete amateur, so managing everything was really difficult. And to make things worse, I got tricked into what I thought would be a good deal for us. Now most of our stores and businesses belong to a bunch of crooks. That's messed up. The only thing left is the senbei shop. My father and grandfather would be so ashamed of me. And with the loan I was still paying, staying in charge of the business would have only made things worse. Although I hated the thought, I'd considered closing Ichiban Confections for good. But that's when Nonomiya-san showed up and offered a helping hand. Hmm. He used to be a regular of the senbei shop. And not only that, but he treated me like a daughter ever since I was a baby. When he heard about how the business was in trouble, he immediately stepped in to help. He paid off my loan in full, and even offered to help run the business, so that my grandpa senbei could live on. Oh, crazy. There's Nonomiya being a cool guy on the down low again. He deserved more respect than he got. Yeah. I thought maybe this was gonna be another one of those... exploiter and... you know, force her to work in his... soapland situations. <sighs> I never saw him interact with his other businesses. But he was always very kind to me. Well, I can see the guy being a regular. But stepping in to become president? Maybe he just wanted some extra cash. It's possible. But Nonomiya had dreams of his own, you know. He did? Yeah. He actually did want to go legitimate. That was his dream for a long time. I had to listen to him talk about it every time he had a few too many. He said he wanted to start up his own business. Create a sort of safety net for Ijincho. Uh, what? <laughs> One way or another, Ijincho has become a place for people who have nowhere else to go. So if the floor falls out from beneath a city like this, what would they have left? So, he always talked about how he wanted to create a safety net. One big enough to catch these people from falling away. Apparently, he had the same intentions for Orohime Land as well. Well, maybe he wasn't so bad after all. Yes, well, he also pushed his employees too hard, and he had his fingers in a lot of shady stuff, so... I could never tell if he was being honest or not. Looking back, though, his place was the only one that took us in when we had nowhere else to go. Nonomiya-san was telling the truth, if you ask me. I think so, too. I always believed in him. After all, he volunteered to take on his struggling senbei shop. I mean... There's plenty of other ways to make money in this town. Hmm. Anyway... I should get going. I'm so sorry to trouble all of you. Wait, what about your business? I think... Nanomiya-san dying is maybe the final nail. What? There's only so much someone like me can do in this position. If I can't find someone more competent to run things, I'll have no choice but to close up shop. Besides, this business will fizzle out sooner or later if I'm left in charge. I should take the hint. I had no place here anyway. 
Hey, now. Is that what you really want? This place is important to you, isn't it? You'd really call it quits after everything your dad and Gramps did for it? Well, that's not what I want at all. I loved my dad and my grandpa. And I know they poured their hearts into the shop. So it's heartbreaking to close the doors. It really is. But Nonomiya-san's gone. And most of my employees left. They knew we were in the red. I don't have anyone else I can count on. No strategy. I'm completely alone. I suppose I'm just reaping what I've sown. It was my own fault for trusting those con artists. <laughs> what was I thinking? I'm so mad at myself. <laughs> Mary Chan. All right, I got you. Huh? Oh no. You don't have to worry about a thing. Just leave all this company stuff to me and the gang. Really? But I... Are you sure? Yeah, you can count on it. Meeting here like this is too much of a coincidence. And the shop's even called Ichiban Confections. That's gotta be fate. Right, guys? What are you talking about? You don't know the first thing about running a business. Come on, we can't just leave it like this, can we? You just leave her hanging? Plus, what about Nonomiya-san's dream to become the city's safety net? This can be our way to carry on his torch. But don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm all for it too, but this is actual management we're talking about. I know, but we owe Nonomiya-san our lives, right? He was the guy who took us in when no one else would. I want to help. He gave up everything to save us. And nobody's gonna pick his dreams up off the floor unless we do. Let's just think of this as paying him back. Ah, <sighs> Ichan. <laughs> paying him back, huh? <laughs> Figures you'd say that. Well, we all know there's no change in his mind now. So give it all you got, Ichiban. We'll be rooting for you. Thanks. Uh, wait, you're gonna help too, aren't you? Good luck, Ichiban. If anyone can pick up a failing business and use it to save the city, it's you. I believe in you, Ichan. Y yeah, but w what about you guys? Kasuga-san, you... Are you really sure about this? Huh? Well, well, yeah. I don't go back on my word. I'll be your president, prime minister, whatever you need. Thank you. I mean that from the bottom of my heart, Kasuga-san. Don't mention it. Looking forward to doing this, Sari John. Likewise. Okay then. If it's all right with you, why don't I show you around the company? Sure. You got this, Mr. President. Hail to the chief. President Kasuga! Come on, guys. Well, this is it. This is the first floor, which is our little senbei shop. Oh, have you always been here? The shop has, but the company itself was headquartered in a much bigger building with a lot more employees before it was taken over. But in the end, the business took a turn for the worse and we ended up back here. The office is on the second floor. Please, follow me. Right behind you. So this is the office. You'll have to excuse the mess we've got going right now. Hey, Eri-chan. Welcome back. Is this the guy you were texting me about? Yes. Kasuga-san will be helping with the company in the place of Nonomiya-san. Kasuga-san, this is my grandmother. She's the only family I have left. She helps out with the shop downstairs on days when she feels well enough. I'm Tome Kamataki. Nice to meet you. Tomei-san, huh? I'm Ichiban Kasuga. Nice to meet you, too. 
Mmm, older gentleman, unique hairdo, thick build, toned muscles. Quite a boyfriend you've got yourself, Eri Chan. G Grandma, he's not my boyfriend. Were you even listening? Oh. <laughs> uh, honestly, sorry about that, Kasuga-san. <laughs> it's cool. Huh? Whoa! Why is there a chicken here? That's Omelette, our company pet. Well, I guess she's more like the company mascot. She's a good girl, though. You won't have to worry about anything. In fact, the company uses her eggs. Uh, oh, right on. Nice to meet you, Omelette. Okay. Perhaps this would be a good time to go over the basics of management. This is gonna be quite a tutorial, so just let me know when you have the time. Sure thing. I'm ready to start your training whenever you are. Yeah, let's do it. All right then, here we go. Got a job to do. Lucky, <sighs> Lucky! Here's how the business did. These results are oh, kind of underwhelming. Here. These are tanking. It dropped. Our ranking dropped. That's about all there is to manage. Yeah, not so bad. Uh... Right now, all we have on staff is a bunch of deadbeats. And don't even get me started on the furniture and equipment. Of course we're in the red. So what can we do? We'll have to invest. Uh, we need to advertise, hire competent staff, get new equipment, maybe some new furniture while we're at it. And we're gonna pay for all that how? Uh... Good question. Then what the hell do we do? That's where you come in. Seriously? What kind of mess did I get myself into? All right, well, first off, let's think about how we'll get the money to cover the infrastructure and new hires. I don't know if anyone would be willing to invest in us. I suppose we'll have to take out another loan? Uh, and after Nonomiya-san just repaid the last one, too. Would you know anybody? Who, someone with money, or a rich friend, or maybe someone from your childhood who grew up to be an oil baron. Look, I'm unemployed and ex-Yakuza. Why would I have... Wait. What is it? No, he wouldn't. Would he? That's where I'm at. Come on, Nick. I want to do this. For both the company and Nonomiya-san's sake. I just need a little bit of... financing, I think it's called. Please, man, can you help me out? Uh. Mm. <laughs> you okay there, Nick? Excellent! 
Your kindness and consideration for others is truly moving. Color me impressed, downright emotional. Consider it done. I'd be thrilled to invest in your company. Really? Man, thanks, Nick. That said, I'm no novice when it comes to management. I can't just throw money at you like it's nothing. If you want the funds, you have to meet my three conditions. Conditions? Indeed. If you can agree to them, consider the investment yours. Seriously? Okay, yeah, man, whatever it takes. So, what are these conditions? First condition, the company must never be in the red. Now, I don't ever want to see a minus next to company funds. And that includes the starting capital I'm about to give you. If I do, I'll have arrangements made to counter this on my end. This is by no means free money, and I am not a charity. Sound good so far? Yeah, that's fine. Very well. Second condition. I want the company's share price ranking to be within Yokohama's top 100 by the specified deadline. Share what now? Ranking. It's what measures the company's value. If the share price goes up, so does the ranking. And I want your company to be in the top 100. Knowing you and your company's potential, it should be a piece of cake. So the deadline is simply there to keep you motivated. I'll contact you later regarding the deadline. Condition two suit you fine? Yeah. What's condition three? The last condition. And you can take all the time you need with this one. I want you to become the number one company in the share price ranking. Best of the best, huh? I want that little confectionery of yours to be the crown jewel of Yokohama. In other words, get out there and get to the top. I'm not willing to invest my money into anyone who can't fulfill these conditions. So, what'll it be? You got yourself a deal. I don't fully understand it, but I'm gonna do my best. I'll see to it that Ichiban Confections becomes the biggest company in Yokohama. Then we're on the same page. Okay. With that, I'll go get the first portion of the investment ready for you. You're free to use the money for whatever you like, be that improving infrastructure or personnel logistics and training. Awesome. Thanks a bunch, Nick. No need to thank me. I'm expecting some kind of return once your company is good and stable. Looking forward to the results. Well, adios. Look at all this money! Wow, boyfriend, you actually did it! I'd be all over you if I was younger! <laughs> Gee, thanks, lady. I'll take that as a compliment. This is amazing! Thank you, Kasuga-san! Save your thanks for Nick Ogata. Besides, it's not like this came with no strings attached. There are conditions. No dropping into the red, be in the top 100 share price ranking by the specified deadline, and ultimately take the top rank in share price. These are his conditions? Yeah, and I'm not about to disappoint the man. I made a promise to fulfill them. Top 100? Hmm, that's gonna be tough. So we'll have to make sure we do our very best. Well, let's start by using this money to get this company back on its feet again. Kasuga-san, just let me know when you're ready to begin. You got it. I think it's about time we put Nick-san's money to use and start- Yeah, let's do it. Then without further ado-
handle it, Sonny. Got a job to do. Let's make that yen. Pretty lucky. Iwane. <laughs> Pretty lucky! Ah, still make it rain. Here's how the business did. These are incredible results. Nice. You guys did great out there. They're going up. Shit. Our ranking went up. Hell yeah, we actually made a profit. Amazing, we did it. And all thanks to Nixon's investment. Having an investor makes all the difference, it seems. It just goes to show the importance of where you put your money. Right, to invest in people or infrastructure. There are so many ways to do this right here and now, but we should also consider how the money can be used in the future. Money for the future? I guess it all boils down to making the right choice at the right time. There's more to this than I thought. I'd say we're on the right track, seeing as we made a profit this time. Ichiban Confections is finally making a comeback. Let's continue working our way into the top 100 Kasuga-san. Uh, President Kasuga. You know it. <sighs> Hell of a day. And we've got our gig at the Yokohama Trading Company tomorrow. Again. I guess we should just head back and hit the hay. Yeah, it's not healthy to stay up too late. Who are you, the sleep police? I'll go to bed when I'm ready. Come on, we're buddies now. So trust me, you need your beauty sleep. She doesn't have a thing for me, does she? You ever notice how she only picks on me? Maybe that's what she does to men she's secretly attracted to. Not a chance in hell, old boy. How about I make dinner for everyone? 
Wow. You can cook? Like a chef. I'll just go buy some ingredients. Nanchan, come with me and carry the bags. Nanchan? Here we go. She sure seems happy about falling in with us. But... But what? I wonder if it's really the best thing for her, you know? I guess it is a dangerous bridge she's crossing with us. But it's what she wants. Just because she's having a little fun with it doesn't mean she ain't committed. Shouldn't we respect that? Yeah, you're right. Okay, be back in two shakes. What's up? Okay, Shay Shay. Next? Let's see. One million yuan. Just a minute. No, there's not enough. Excuse me, boss? What is it? There isn't enough money in the safe. Huh? Oh, well, we have had a lot of shipments lately. Go, Lisa. Shouldn't你们知道了 你们再过来，这次可要准备好啊！放心了，相信我。喂, 钱筹好了没? Oh, um, it's not here yet. 不好意思, 让你们久等了。What? What? Counterfeit bills? Yeah, those have got to be fake. Unbelievable. I mean, it's fucking weird, right? Where'd all that extra money come from? He did have to go to the bank. No, he went to the second floor. Never set foot outside. I saw him. And when he came back down, he was carrying the case of money. Could be they've got a safe up there. Who knows how much would be in it. But then why not move a sufficient amount from there to here? Why did I come up short? There's always the explanation that someone was just lazy. If all he needed to do was go up to another safe, he wouldn't have asked for half an hour. Good point. Let me get this straight. When the vendor asked for payment, there wasn't enough cash. So then the boss got more money from... somewhere in this building. And that's where the box comes in, remember? There was a box with paper in it, next to the uh, ones with shark fins and abalone and stuff. Yeah. Just reams and reams of paper. 
Before he paid the guy, the foreman took that paper up to the second floor. Wait. Are you saying the paper is... It's what they use to print the fake money. They make that shit right there. You think they have that kind of printer? They've gotta. What, and all the stuff they're importing, they just buy it with their fake-ass money? I don't know. Seems like a damn foolish plan. But it's possible. They do make all their payments up front with cash. That's really unusual in this day and age, especially with the sales volume they have. Another good point. There has to be some reason why they would refuse to use a bank. And I think their big profits tell the same story. Me too. Maybe it sounds believable to you two, but not to me. But it's right there. The reason they pay in cash is to use their fake money. Can't do that with a bank. That would also explain why they're able to sell at cost. The profits would be crazy doing it this way. I mean, after all, they're essentially getting their product for free. Plus, the seller takes the fake bills to China, where they won't be traced back to Japan. That's bold, but in a way, airtight. Mabuchi's a sharp guy. Maybe his primary goal is to hide where the money comes from. What, you mean money laundering? When I was in prison, I heard some guys in my room talking. They said foreign currency is easier to fake than yen. But the problem was, you have no way of turning that fake money into yen. If you take it to the bank, they'll know it's fake right away. Maybe that's why Mabuchi is laundering the shit with a cash-only trading company. The products are just a front for the money laundering. Sounds like we have a lead on Mabuchi's fraudulent scheme. Let's use this to threaten him. We've got leverage now. Wait, this is all just speculation so far. We need to find solid proof that he's counterfeiting money. Proof that will really force his hand. What if we snuck up to the second floor and took a picture of the money printer? No way would it be that easy. If they have a printer up there, security on that floor will be tight as hell. And if we get caught, it won't just be a slap on the wrist, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's not do anything super dangerous. We only need to sneak out one fake bill. Psycho, you already have access to the fake money. Uh, yeah, but didn't I tell you about the body check they do on me when I leave? Now I see why. They're doing that to ensure I don't take any of the fakes. Okay, but they don't check us guys. We're just unloading crates. Could you slip us a bill while we're working? I could try. You have to be really careful. Of course. Nice. Tomorrow I can say goodbye to all this manual labor. I'm actually feeling kind of excited about this plan. Then I'll make us an exciting dinner tonight. <laughs> we'll all need our energy. Nanchan, we're going shopping again. Me again? I'm beat. No worries, I'll go. Ichiban, you used to be a Yakuza, right? Uh, yeah. Your old life must have been a scary one. Was it hard on you? I guess so, but what counts as scary is different for everyone, isn't it? And, you know, it changes over time and all that. Yeah, I understand. I'll tell you something. The old me would have no idea what to do in this situation. But the new me? It feels like she can do anything. Or at the very least, what used to scare her, just doesn't anymore. Sounds great. But you still gotta remember what actually is dangerous and be careful. You worry too much. Come on, let's go. <sighs> Just stick with these two, man. Toughen the fuck up, bro. We don't have time for your bitching.
Hey! You there! You gotten used to working here yet? Oh, sure. <laughs> Foreman's been talking about you nonstop. I think he might even ask you out soon. Oh, looking forward to it. Cleaned up. Shit, so where did it go? So, just how did you end up with this? Huh? Uh, I don't know. What? You saying this money just grew legs and walked over here by itself? <sighs> hmm. Fat <That> chance. <sighs> hey! These four Japanese are thieves! They're trying to steal the company's money! They almost made off with some of your pay! Are we gonna let them get away with that? I say hell no! Let's tear these fuckers up! And load him in boxes! Watch 
this. Take your back. Oh, this. this. Yeah. You're gonna get yeah. Anyway, hand over that damn money already. Fuck you. Just one bill's all I need. Come on. One bill? What the fuck kind of thief are you? Hey! Jing Ji Zhang Kuo! Yo, Jing Ji Zhang Kuo! Oh, shit. Let's go! <laughs> 